Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door, and I came to show you a couple of journals. I might not can fit them both in this video, but I'm gonna try really hard to. So these are gonna be going on my Etsy shop. These are completely inspired by Gina Johnson over at the Rebookery. If you have not seen her channel, go check it out. I'll try to remember to leave a link below, but I'm bad about that, so forgive me. Um, but anyway, so we're just going to go ahead and get started so we can try and fit both of them in. These are from those old Weight Watchers books I showed in one of my recent hauls. Um, so I just redid the cover, and it's fabric and paper. And then this is a little pocket, and it's got some tags in it for you. Did a little bit of fabric on the spine, and then just some scraps on the spine and the back, just to make it look a little different. So we'll just go on in. Um, trying to make sure that I'm in frame. I'm kind of, my camera angle's a little weird today. Let me see if I can scoot it over a little bit. Get you some more light in here. Okay, so I think I did. Hang on, I'm gonna move the camera. Okay, I think that's a little better. Okay, so on the inside pocket, I just kind of made a pocket with this really pretty floral paper. Um, this book does have a floral theme, and let me give you the measurements real quick. Um, it's 10 by 9, so 10 inches length, nine and a, oh, nine and a half wide. It's got a 2-inch spine, and there's roughly 162 pages in here. That number doesn't count all of the little pages that you'll see, like this page I didn't count, uh, and there's a bunch of those. It doesn't count the envelopes or anything like that, so there is a lot in this book. It's pretty thick. So anyway, in the front cover, I just put a couple of little tags that I made, and then I put this handmade paper um, that I made. It's not handmade paper. The paper's not handmade, but I did, I did the design on it. So if you don't have design paper that you like, you can make your own. So if you guys want me to do um, a tutorial on how I did that, I'll be glad to do that. Just let me know in the comments below. Okay, and this got some eyelash trim on it. So let's just get going. This is an envelope, and in each of the envelopes, I just put like some scrappy tags that I do from old book pages and things like that. Lots of sewing in this book, scriptures, and um, encouraging thoughts and words. And then this is from an old calendar. Actually, it's from January this year, but it's just really pretty images and goes with the floral theme. So I thought I would add a few of those in there. Well, I know it fits in there because it's flat a minute ago. There we go. <laughs> this is from um, a Helen Steiner Ross book that I found at um, a thrift shop. So um, I added some pages in here of that because they're, number one, the images are beautiful on them. Very simple, florally, and the words are amazing. Lots of sewing on pages. This is from my um, that nature book that I got, the big orange nature book. So I added some of these pages. This has like a florally, springy feel to it. Um, and I did put some Easter overtones with some bunnies and things like that. So I'm kind of in the mood for spring. I got spring fever, so I'm ready. So kind of added that. It's, it's telling on me in this book. <laughs> these are from this book here which I'm gonna be making a journal out of, but I used some of the tabs to go in this book and some of the pages also from that book in this book. Look how pretty. And then some of those pages, I made pockets and I just sewed around, put some fabric and then some journaling pages, uh, a journal card, um, and then some encouraging words in that pocket. I'll fix it later. This is from a Joyce Meyer little um, yearly book thing that had like encouraging things per day. So I added some of those in here. And this is from actually this little book right here. And it was in sad, sad shape. I mean, this book was in really bad shape. So, but the pictures in it are just flipping adorable. So I definitely wanted to add a few of those in here just because I love them. <laughs> so got that in there look how cute <laughs> child's playing card or these are like flash cards i guess sort of 
I put some notebook paper in here just so you can have some plain notebook paper to journal or you can coffee dye this, decorate with it or whatever you want to do. This is a card I just thought was really, really pretty. I hope my lighting's okay. I'm trying to make sure I'm kind of, maybe I need to stand up where you can see better. I don't know if I need to maybe zoom in a little. Sorry guys, I guess I should have done this before I started on the video. I'm gonna move you a little bit and zoom you in just a hair. And that way you can see a little better. Sorry if I made you dizzy. So this is just an envelope. It's got um, encouraging words in it. And then this is one of um, uh, a tag I made from an old book page and then decoupaged a napkin on it. And then I just put you a little scrap of the wrap, wrapping paper um, that I used in this book and just a couple of little scraps of the paper that I used in this book. And the whole point for me doing this um, is to kind of, I wanted you to be able to take this book on the go with you and be able to have everything in it that you need without having to take a bunch of stuff with you. So there's lots of scrap papers in here, um, in the envelopes and pockets and stuff and things like that. So basically you could take a glue stick, a pen, some scissors, with you on the go and you're good to go to journal. So this is a, a piece from um, a children's book that I absolutely loved and it reminded me, this reminded me of spring and I love what it says so I added that in there. And then this is a pocket with a scripture and this is an adorable little story. So cute. So whoever gets this journal, read the story. It's super cute. And then a tag and then some more fabric sewn down the edge here. If I have to do a video two of this, I'll let you know kind of towards the end. I'm trying not to make these videos be super long. This is just a um, card from one of those paper pads. Love this. This is from a children's book. I think it's called My Book House and it's children's rhymes. But I love the images and it just reminded me of spring. So I added that. This is from a home decor, not a home decorating book floral arranging. So I added that in there, a couple pages of that. This is paper sewn to the edge as a tab. Look, in he gorgeous? I love him. I love the colors in this page. Love, love, love this children's book. So I added a page in because it's super thick, great for journaling, and there's some of the Easter overtones. Project Life Cards, and then this is from another, like a botanical or flowering book, and it just flips out. Another one of those page tabs. Some more of the pages from that book, and I made a pocket out of it with just, um, that's a scripture. This is from one of those, um, I think this is from a childcraft book, but I love the picture on it. Um, and then this is also from that, one of those flower books that I have. So, I have lots of flower books. I love them. And I love adding pieces of them into my journals. So, there's that. This is another page from that dictionary, not dictionary, calendar. And then a beautiful image. So, I added that. You can take that out and decorate with it or put a picture on it or whatever you want to do with it fabric on the side. This flips down for journaling and it flips up or it's washing in there so you can take it off and use this paper to decorate your other pages. Flips out. This is an envelope that I made from that page. It's from uh, like a big atlas that I got at the Habitat for Humanity. Here's a scripture and then this is a journal tag, journal card, whatever you want to call it that I just decorated up and then this is just a piece of um, that children's book page from the My Book House, but I liked it because it had the bunny on it, so I added that in there. I'm trying to go very quickly, but I don't think I'm going to make my time. So I'm going to try and just flip through as fast as possible. This is just a dictionary page that I found back from, I don't know, I think like the 80s, but... I put it in there because you can either journal on it or you can cut it up and decorate with the definitions or whatever. And then a tag and a scripture. This is an envelope sewn to the page. I don't know if you can see it. 
And then I got a scripture in, or a quote in there with a couple of pieces of, to journal on. And then on the back side, I just have another one of those uh, botanical cards, and it's just wash it in. This is a tab page from this actual book, so I just put a little decoration on it. I left a... I left the word on this one because I thought you could use it. If not, you can cover over the word. Love, love, love these birds. And I love Alfred Tennyson, so I had to add this in here. These are just some um, Project Life cards or um, cards from um, uh, paper packs. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera. And then this is from my fairy book that I showed you on one of my hauls. And this is another in that bird gorgeous. This man was talented from that nature book that I showed y'all in that haul. This flips open and it has fabric on the side. And I love these pages together. Absolutely love it. I like the color combination. So I'll try to move this over a little bit so y'all can see better. Sorry guys, hopefully I'm not filming. Maybe I should stand up Project Life card. There's some more um, notebook paper. This is another tab page from this book and I just put some rubbing paper on it and I did it kind of um, sloppy because I like that look and I just wrapped it around the back. This was actually a tab divider from a notebook. A children's flashcard. There's another page from that frog book. And here's another page from that children's book. Y'all, these pages are super thick. So you can gesso, you can paint, you can do lots of different mixed media on that. This is just, um, this is a card from a taboo game. And then this with the bunnies is um, just a card with the, both tucked in to this divider or paper clip. Uh, here's a card with these beautiful, beautiful flowers on them. So I loved that. These are pages from a child craft book. Um, but I added them because it's the tale of Peter Rabbit. So I added the whole story into the book. Um, you can cut them up and decorate pages with them or you can leave them whole, journal on them. Oops, sorry I didn't mean to bump the camera. This is a pocket on one of those um, tab divider pages, and I just made a little journaling card here, and then that's a scripture, and then this is from uh, one of those flowering books that I have. So I love adding those in here. Sorry about the camera shake. I keep bumping the camera. It's my fault. <laughs> Another children's playing card. That's another page from that Joyce Meyer book. This is just a journal card, and I think it actually, no, it's just blank. This is a page from one of my, I think this was from an annual flowering book. And then this I love. I just think this is a beautiful page, and it folds open this way, it's sewn on. And then you can fold it back this way, so it gives you lots of room to journal. You can cut these up decorate with them or leave them leave them whole here's another pocket and in this pocket I have you another um, page from that dictionary an encouraging verse and some more this is some uh, different wrapping paper that I used in here and then another one in that pretty those pictures are just gorgeous so I added those in there I think I'm probably going to have to make a second video because this one's already at 14 minutes. Even though I try to go fast, I just can't seem to do it. So, sorry guys. I'll just do a second video for the other journal. This is from a child craft book. I love this. Love it that it has all the months. So, you can use this, cut it up, and use it throughout the journal. These are. This is from a different children's book, but I love the images. So, I added those in and... Got a bunny. And then here is another piece from that one of those flower books. Love these pages together. And then I just got you a scripture there. 
and a journal card there. This is another one of those calendar pages. The images in it were just beautiful. This is one of my scrappy tags that I make from old book pages. So I just got it tucked in there on a paper clip and there's a couple more. And then I put you a couple extra ones of those dictionary pages in so you can journal on them or cut them up and use them in the book or however. This is just a card, but I thought he was super cute, so I put him in here. We got graph paper, and then another. You can cut these up and use them on pages, or you can fussy cut them. They're kind of small to fussy cut, but I'm sure some of you talented ladies can do it. I can't fussy cut because I'm left-handed and I stink at it. This is just a really pretty card. I thought you could either cut it up and use it throughout the book or journal on it or be creative and do whatever you want or you can use it for a card because it's blank you know nobody's written in it and then an encouraging quote he's super cute he looks mad to me but I really like him and then I just tucked in I think this is a scripture in here here's another one of those um, scrappy tags that I make and then this flips out and then this is just sewn in, so you have plenty of room for journaling. This is, this, I love this. This is from a children's book, but it's really good thick pages. Um, and it's not matte, but it's not shiny, shiny either. So it'd be really good for mixed media stuff. And I love, love, love the images. So I had to add these in here because I think they're super cute. Here is another envelope that has... Um, has a, a quote and then behind the quote I just put s several scraps of the paper that I used in the book just so you have plenty of stuff to play with on the go. Project Life. These are some poems that I, I have a little poem book and they're just absolutely beautiful poems. Fabric sewn to the side. There's your tab so you can cut these up or journal over them. This, I think, is just absolutely beautiful. So you could cut that out and decorate with it or journal around it. But, again, some of the Easter overtones, undertones, overtones, however you want to look at it. Love, love, love that image. Um, this is from, I think, that annual flowering book. Got a little pocket on the back with a scripture, some graph paper, a little, just like a little notepad. And then this is another one of those journal cards. Um, just made from old book page and I added some of these in here just because I think the pictures are gorgeous you can cut them up use them for backgrounds journal over them put pictures on them whatever you want to do and this is just um, another scripture and a little note card thing and then that's just an empty piece of paper for journaling there's another one of those flower things in that pretty and then this one folds out. Got fabric flip up here. This is from that Country Mouse, Town Mouse, I think, book. And it just looked springy to me. It reminded me of spring. So, <coughs> excuse me. I had to sneeze. So I added him in there. Then there's a pocket here, and it's got a couple of. Uh, pieces from that book as well that I cut down and then in that pretty that bird is so pretty so that's from a children's book and then there's a scripture in there as well this is from uh, those child craft books and I just like the images and the colors and I like the poems I love or the nursery rhymes so I had to add those because you can cut them up and decorate with them or whatever and then here's some more that Easter looking stuff or springy stuff and it folds down another piece from that Joyce Meyer book and then just sew down and join two pages together this is some more from that I think this is from the child craft book but I loved it and I just thought these little bugs went well with the flowers and the spring and that type of thing and then I love this page this is one of my favorite pages in the book and um, I don't know why I'm just drawn to that page 
And then this one I think is real pretty too, and it talks about Queen Anne's Lace. And then that is the last page. Then on the back, I couldn't decide if I wanted to make this a pocket or not. So I just washed it in, and I thought I would let you decide if you want it to be a pocket or not. So it opens here. So you can make a pocket out of it, or you can take it off and use it throughout the book. Or, you know, whatever you decide to do with it. And then my little name tag with my card in it. So that is the end of that one. Um, I think we are going to have to make two videos out of this. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here and I'll just make a part two. So this will be going up into my Etsy shop. Uh, hopefully today. I'll try to get it in there today. I've just got to get the photography done and everything. So we all know that takes time. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you're not yet a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. Show me some love. Know that I love you guys. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys.